Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, I have a doll review for you guys today and I just wanted to clarify something because I can't remember in my life update slash channel update video if I um, said I was taking a break from doll repainting or just YouTube in general and I am definitely still taking a break from doll repainting because that takes hours upon hours upon hours to do um, but doll reviews really don't take that long to film or edit and they bring me joy so I still wanted to do those and I'm still like super excited specifically about like Monster High releases um, and I want to like talk to people about them because <clears throat> no one in my actual life aside from like my friend's five-year-old daughter likes Monster High so yeah, that's what I'm doing. I also wanted to uh, let you guys know that if you guys did watch that life update, channel update video, that I am feeling quite a bit better, um, definitely. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know because I had a lot of people reaching out to me and everyone was super sweet. Um, and I mean, sometimes I still get a little, a little, you know, emotional slash have panic attacks for I don't really know why but <laughs> for no reason <laughs> seemingly um, but I'm way better than I was so yeah um, but anyway let's get into this review so the dolls that I picked up are these two um, we have Dracular and Claudine and I'm not entirely sure like what this line of dolls is like I feel like it's a revamp of the signature dolls like they redid their looks or something i think that's the thought process behind it um i would say that they leveled up both of these from like looks like i love the signature doll looks but i feel like these are just like chef's kiss you know what i mean um so i got dracula because <laughs> she is my i was like my spirit animal but she's like not an animal i feel like that's rude um she's my vampire queen <laughs> like i love her and then I have Claudine. Um, I like Claudine. The whole revamp of Dracula for G3 is just like, I will always be drawn to her. But I also like Claudine's look. I definitely think this is a level up from Claudine's signature look of, I guess, wave one. Because that look was kind of, like it was okay. This look I think is better. So I'm gonna open these and I'm gonna show you guys them. And I have the, I guess, wave one dolls. I don't know. Uh, mine are all messed up because they were just kind of like sitting on top of each other. I had them on stands and then, I took them off stands <laughs> so because I need the stands I need to buy more stands um, but yeah I'm gonna compare them a little bit to those and just tell you guys my feelings about them so let's get into that I want to talk a little bit about the packaging before I open up because I like the packaging I think it'd be cool if they incorporated like you know how, like in the first Monster High they made them like coffin packaging I think that'd be pretty cool but I know that there's just like a ton of stuff in here so maybe they can't do that regardless of that I still do like the packaging um, I love the art they, who did, I think Donnie Darko or Danny Darko does the art, I'm not sure of their name, but I'll have it on the screen. Their art is gorgeous, it's very, very nice, and I'm pretty sure they're the one who does the art for Monster High. But this is the sad, this is Monster High, and then that is the back art, which is so cool. It has her little art here, um, and then it has her little bio. I feel like I want to be a person who <laughs> would cut this out and like put it on my wall because I really like it, but I just know that if I do cut it out, I'm just not going to do that because I've done it in the past and then never did anything with the artwork. But it's just really, really pretty and it's printed really well and I dig it, but I'm probably going to throw out the package. This is the other side. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to show you guys Claudine's. So here's Claudine, basically the same exact packaging. Um, but obviously like different art. Love Claudine's art too. Has the same sides and stuff. And there she is on the back. Let's bring it, Put it over a little bit. My ring light is doing none of this stuff justice, but there you go. You can see it better. So same thing, has her little bio, has her art, and then the side thing. Is it actually, oh, it's different. I was gonna say they're the same. But they're not the same. Their side art is different. Yeah, that one is Claudine. That one's Dracula. Oh my god, she has blush on. That's really cute. Does the original blush on? Mm, no. That's very cute. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> does she have blush on? No, I'm like, am I imagining things? No, she definitely has blush on. Okay, so I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. There is nothing that I dislike <laughs> about this doll. Um, I love this doll. I think this doll is just very, like, aesthetically, like, I just love it. There's nothing I can honestly critique about it. Um, I love, like, the latex outfit. I love the little collar. I love this. Um, I love a puffy sleeve. If you guys have seen my dollar paints, then you would know that. Um, the shoes are very cool. 
the face up is awesome. I love like the dark lipstick. Um, she has blush on, <laughs> which I'm like, do they do that with like Monster Eye dolls? Have they done that in the past? I genuinely don't know. Um, yeah, she has blush on. I'll show you guys like a close up of her face up. This is so good. <laughs> I don't know, just everything about this, but her face up is also very cute. Like it's very, I feel like, I don't know. Looks like Instagram makeup or something, like just very nice and well done. Honest to God, like obsessed with this. I'm gonna show you guys a close up of all the accessories because typically I also don't give a crap about the accessories that come with these dolls. Um, I get why they do them, but I would just rather have a stand because um, I'm running out of doll stands. <laughs> and they're like, they're not expensive, but they're also not like super cheap to buy like a pack of them. So yeah, I'd rather have a stand. So typically I'm like, whatever about the accessories, but I actually think some of these accessories have very, very, very cute little details. So I'm gonna show you guys those. Um, this is her hat, by the way. It comes off, it has like a little web on it. Adorable. I'm gonna show you guys like a little close. Let's look, let's look, let's look at her shoes. Her shoes. They're nice, they're very nice. Um, I also love that she has pigtails on, which I didn't mention when I showed a close up of her face, but she has pigtails. And I love a good pigtail. And I just feel like they go very well with like Draculara. Very much her, her look. So yeah, I love everything about this. I also love whatever hair they give Draculara. Um, I don't know what type of hair this is. Um, I don't think it's nylon, but I'm really not sure. I'm not good at it, like identifying hair types with dolls. Um, it's a little bit like kooky back here. <laughs> There's just a lot of like, kind of flyaways and stuff going on, but um, I think it's like just way more manageable than for example like Claudine's. I don't know what hair they give Claudine, but I wish they would switch it to something else <laughs> um, because all of my Claudine dolls just, her hair is very hard to control. Like it maybe will look good out of the box immediately. Sometimes it doesn't even look good really out of the box. Um, but like the instant I put her down or something, it just turns into this mass and <laughs> it's not great. And I don't think I could even, if I tried to like control it, I don't think I could. Um, so like I feel like brushing it out would just make it worse. So yeah, I love the whatever hair type this is. Maybe it's saran or something. I feel like I heard somebody say that she has saran hair, but don't quote me because I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, love this. Let's show you guys the accessories. All right, so Dracula's accessories. Let's talk about them. So this is her bag. Um, it's awesome. <laughs> I love like the bags that G3 Monster High dolls have. Um, they're like squishy and they open. You can use them or your doll can use them. Um, you can put this stuff inside of them, the other stuff. Oh, that's cute. So this is like a little sort of keychain, I guess. Um, I want this bag, <laughs> genuinely. Like if they made this bag, like Mattel Creations or something, I would buy it. I would buy it, honestly. And then we have her, her cat. <laughs> what is this? Wait, didn't she used to have, she has a cat now? I'm so confused. Is this Count Fabulous? What the hell is this? Wait, hold on. Okay, so Count Fabulous is a cat bat. Okay, I'm like genuinely, cause I know that wave one came with like animals too. Is this what what he looked like? Like cat bat? I feel like I would have been like what? <laughs> yeah, I'm just realizing this now. Um, okay, that's cool. It's cute. Like I love that it's giving um what is it, the lady and the tramp energy? Like the isn't there a white cat from that? And then we have a book, which is like a spell book. Monster magic. And it opens. Again, I just like the little details that these have. He has a tumbler. Um, I am a tumbler girly. <laughs> I love a good tumbler. It's nice for what it is. Um, this is actually what I think is like very, very cool. So she has a lunch box. Um, and then you can open it. And it's the same like cat bat thing. Um, and there's like lunch inside. It's like a bento box. That's kind of awesome. I don't know. It's just like little, it's like a little, little, tiny little lunch. We have her lipstick. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I guess this is lip gloss. I thought this was toothpaste. So there's that. <laughs> um, but I was like, no, it doesn't make sense. It is kind of squishy, which is cool. I guess it's sort of the same consistency that a lip gloss tube would be. We have SPF 500. 
which she needs because she is a vampire. And these very, very awesome little glasses, which I dig. So here is Claudine, um, and I like her quite a bit too. Um, I'm trying to think if there's like anything I don't really like about her. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I dig her. I feel like Claudine's aesthetic is not one that I am like, like I like certain aspects of it, but I'm not quite as drawn to it as I am like obviously Draculaura. So there's some things that like, I don't know, like I don't like leopard print, but <laughs> she's a werewolf, so like I get it. <laughs> um, but like the quality is nice of the pants. Um, I love this, like the jacket is very cool. I love that it's like a varsity jacket with fluffy sleeves. I'm just really into that. Her earrings are very cool too, which I don't think you can really see. They're like little moons with little werewolves. I'm gonna show you guys a close to the face like I did with um, Dracula. So she has spikes on her shoes. And then she has like little moon straps, which are pretty, uh, I don't know, they're pretty sick. Yeah. I'll show you guys a close up of her face. So I dig her makeup as well. Um, I think it's really cool how, I like her baby hair. So is her original, oh, yeah, I guess, well, do all Claudines of G3 have baby hairs? I don't know, I like her baby hairs. <laughs> um, these are her earrings. So they're little like crescent moons and then they have the wolf on them. Claudine's like whole thing is crescent moons. There's like crescent moons all over her designs. And um, yeah, so this is what her face up looks like. I like her face up quite a bit. Like I like Dracula. Something that I really like, which is very like hyper specific, is that, oh, okay, this is not what I was about to say, but I like how there's a little crescent moon in her eye shine. That's cool. Um, <clears throat> I like that her skin is like tan, obviously. And then she has like this either eyeliner or eyeshadow on her eye that is like quite a bit lighter, but it's still in the same color family as her skin tone. So yeah, she's got little fangs. They're really cute. Um, she has like her little tufts of hair on the side. That's Claudine. Also with her accessories, like I was saying with Draculaura, um, typically again, don't care about the accessories, but I think her accessories have some cute little details as well. So I'll show you guys those. Her hair quality. I don't know what hair, again, that they use for Claudine, but, um, it's okay. <laughs> um, I kind of like the color combination of it, how it's like brown and then purple and they're kind of like in a similar color family a little bit. Um, but it just gets very kind of cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs down here, which I'm not really into. These are Claudine's accessories, so she has this bag, which is like kind of equally as cool as Dracula's. It's squishy, it opens, so you can put the stuff inside. Um, maybe that's what I'll do with all this stuff. I'll just put them inside the bags. Um, there's like, oh, that's cool. It's like a little chain, I guess, for the straps. It's transparent, which love a good transparent bag, but also wouldn't want my bag to be transparent. Cause like, I don't know, I'm like a weirdo. Like sometimes I carry around weird stuff in my bag. For a while I was carrying around, when I got Invisalign, they made, um, they 3D printed my teeth and I had that in my bag at one point. I don't really want a clear bag, but I like them aesthetically. This is Crescent, who I guess is a wolf. Um, he's cute. He, I feel like him and the the cat that look like, you know, they'd hang out. Um, I don't really like super care about these tiny pets, but I'm sure kids do. There's a Hal Energy Bar, which um, I feel like whoever is designing the Monster High dolls at the moment just really likes designing food packaging those Monster High because I feel like I have so much Monster High snacks that are just like puns and stuff. Um, we have this thing which is one of the things that I think is actually really cool. It's like a notebook or like a planner. Um, so zoom in. Okay. Yeah. So it's like a notebook or planner and then it opens. So look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Whoa. There's like a piece of paper on the inside. It's kind of cool, okay? It's like not super cool, but it's kind of cool. It's a sandwich in a Ziploc bag. Like what? <laughs> I don't know, I've just never seen this. It's like a sandwich in a Ziploc bag. I feel like you can make a necklace out of this. Why would you want a sandwich in a Ziploc, Ziploc bag necklace? I don't know, but I kind of do. Um, Cause this is sort of awesome. Like it's sort of cool. I feel like all these things are like kind of cool. Um, it's a sandwich that has a crescent moon on it. Cause of course it does, it is. Uh, Claudine's. She even needs crescent moons on her sandwich. We have her glasses, which are big and chunky. 
just kind of like how I like glasses. I like big glasses. We have a water bottle, which has cats and moons all over it. <laughs> um, I'm not trying to like cloth call you or anything, but there is like a lot of crescent moons all over her, um, her stuff. And this you can also use, like it is actually a water bottle. You can use it as a water bottle, I guess, if you want a water bottle for your Monster High doll. Because it has an opening and it has a top. This is, oh, that's cute. Okay, I didn't know what this was because like I just kind of took it out of the packaging and didn't know what was going on. But it's a little brush and it's like doll size. But you could still like brush your hair with it. Like it looks like a typical doll brush, but typically those are very big, but this is small. So here they all are together. Um, the, I guess, wave one looks and then these. Um, yeah, I feel like, I still like like Dracula's wave one look. I'm pretty like okay with Claudine's, but I feel like these new ones are just, why is her saying so crazy? Hold up. I feel like these new ones are just a bit more effective. There are certain aspects that maybe like I like a little bit more, specifically about like Claudine. Like I do like Claudine's overall, so I think those are cute. Um, but yeah, I like like their face ups more um, on the newer ones, like a lot more. Yeah, I don't know, I really like this Dracula face up. But I just like how it's like a little bit darker on the newer ones. I feel like Claudine's face up looks like significantly different. Like maybe her eyes are farther apart on this one. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just seeing things. <laughs> My wave one dolls look a little bit wild because I just kind of like stacked them on each other. I had them on stands and then I just needed the stands. Because again, I need to buy more stands. Yeah, I just kind of like this, this newer look a little bit better. So I just want to show you guys. A tiny comparison between them. These are the dolls. I think they're pretty great. I wanted to show you guys what they look like with their glasses on. I think that if you're gonna pick up one of them, honestly, like Dracula is kind of everything. She is the moment. <laughs> She's like so cute. But I also think Claudine is very cute. Um, I just think Dracula is like I love everything about her. So yeah, I like both of them though. I don't regret buying both of them. Um, I really enjoy them and those are my thoughts so if you guys pick these up if you guys like them um if you're like as obsessed with them as i am or specifically dracula because i'm not as obsessed with claudine like i just think she's kind of cute um then let me know what you guys think about them down below in the comments also i wanted to ask if you guys have been keeping up with some of like the sneak peeks of the new monster high dolls um so i saw venus i saw caddy noir i saw um who else did i say spectra that is coming out. Um, I'm definitely gonna pick up any of those. I feel like I'm gonna pick up any doll that is like a new release because they just make me really excited. I specifically think Teddy Noir looks really cool. Uh, I've heard people say that her outfit wasn't as cool as the um, older outfit and I would say that I do kind of like agree with that. It is very reminiscent of the older outfit but it's like a simpler version or a shorter version. I've also heard people say like Teddy Noir is very curvy that doll is and I've heard people say stupid stuff about that which I have thoughts on. Um, but um, yeah, I think she's very, very cool. And uh, who else? I, I just kind of like Spectra. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I want to see what like the new interpretation of her is. Um, and Venus also looks really cool. So yeah, what do you guys think about them? Let me know down in the comments. Like this video if you like this video. Subscribe makes me happy. And I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Bye.